Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today is... Today is Monday, the 5th of September, and I thought we would film a weekly vlog. We've got a little bit planned this week, not too much actually, which is great, because last week we had a crazy week. It was like Father's Day, so I had a father's night at school. Cody came to that. It was also Cody's mum's birthday. Then we did a Father's Day dinner with my dad, and then the next night with Cody's dad. We also went to a dance concert to watch one of our girls. We had Casey's football grand final, so we spent most of Sunday there. So, it's Monday, it is six o'clock, and we're going to have a bit of an unusual night. I am about to leave home, Cody's at the gym. I'm gonna leave home, I'm gonna stop in at Coles, I'm gonna get ingredients, to cook dinner at Cody's parents' house so he can work on his race car there because we have our first practice this weekend. He has not raced for so long, like early 2021, I reckon, just after our wedding, maybe. I don't even know, but it's been ages. He hurt his knees at the end of last year. It's been actually 12 months. He's just been out for ages, which is so sad because he loves it so much. So. This weekend, he's getting back in the race car, which I'm so excited about. So we're going over there tonight to get that ready. Once the car's ready, then I think Thursday night or something, he'll go and load it into the trailer. And then Saturday, we've obviously got the practice, but I'm gonna cook dinner at his parents' house. They own and run their own business, which is where Cody and Casey work as well. So. I actually think they won't get home till late and they do that every night. So I think it would be nice for them to have a home cooked meal, like cooked for them so they don't have to cook as well. And I thought I can do that. So I'm gonna go to Coles, I'm gonna get the goodies. I'm gonna leave the dog here just cause it's six o'clock already and there's not really any point taking him with me. Can they come say hello? <gasps> say hello. The giraffe on the ground Cody bought for him yesterday. And that's the stuffing of it on the lounge with his blanket already. Oakley the Destroyer. All right, I'm gonna get going. This was my work outfit. I had rainbow fish earrings on. These are from Lana K Collective, which is where I get pretty much all of my earrings from. The ones I wore for my wedding, ev like my everyday earrings. She's just amazing, but she is also a teacher, so she makes little acrylic ones perfect for work with a, a purple like dress, it's got pockets from Kmart and a black denim jacket from Princess Polly. I also had my black and white chunky high top converse on with it and that was my outfit of the day. But I'm actually gonna get dressed into like trackies and a jumper to go over because it will be cold, especially if I'm going into the shed with the boys. All right, let's do it. Went to Coles in that. Embarrassing. All right, we got the goods. So I got bacon and chicken and pasta and thickened cream and Nando's rub. I also got a Nando's sauce in mild in case we need extra, but. I made this like last week or the week before for codes and we really liked it. Our friend Jaden actually made it for us the first time. So I recreated it the other week and it actually was all right. Jaden's was probably better than ours, but that's beside the point. So when we ate it, I was like, actually Cody, your family would eat this as well. Cause they're really fussy eaters and they don't really eat like vegetables or anything. This is Cody's dad and Cody's brother, not Cody's mum. So, yeah, I thought, oh, this is actually a meal we could cook them. So Cody said to make it exactly how I did it last time because he said it was good. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to chop up the bacon now and cook it, then add in the chicken, then add in the sauce and everything. So nice and easy. Happy Tuesday. This is today's OOTD. And then I've got dancing work this afternoon. I've still got to do my makeup, but dancing this afternoon. And then I'll chat to you guys tonight, probably when I'm cooking dinner. 
What are you crying about? Say bye guys, happy Tuesday. I cooked dinner and I brought the camera and sat it next to my meal, our meals, to film. I cooked. And I didn't film. Carol read my army's grey bird. When the hands. Welding, when you weld, put long sleeve on. <laughs> Look at this rude child. He stares. Stop. So we did have sausages, sweet potato mash, and veggies, but I mean, that looks disgusting. So. What else is happening? Nothing else, really. Cody's been working in his garage all night. I had dancing work. A gym. And we are, oh, we're getting ready because this weekend we're back at the speedway. I already said that last night and I said that's why we were at your parents' house last night. Yeah, so back at the speedway. Need to work out how long it's been since I've raced. So it's been a while, obviously, yeah. because of my knees and injuries that I had. So I am itching to get back. Mm -hmm. So just going to get in the wingless. And we're going to do a practice night on Saturday so I can get back into the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Knock the rust off me eyes and out of me bones. Do that. And then next weekend we go away. Then the weekend after we'll go back up to Toowoomba on the Friday night. Mm -hmm. And we'll do another practice. <laughs> and race season is in full swing. I'm so excited. Kind of same. Got some big things happening this year, eh? Yeah, I'm excited. Heaps <laughs> of big stuff. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> Alright, go away now. Hello guys. Sorry about this atrocious lighting. And sorry about my unmade bed. I'm really slack. I only make my bed on weekends. And in the school holidays, I make it like every day consistently. But then come work days, I just like roll out of bed, get dressed, make my breakfast and leave. Like I don't, I don't know, I just don't spend time doing things in the morning. I'm such like a get up, get dressed, go. Anyway, that's my bed. This is today's OOTD. So I've got a black bodysuit with like a little t-shirt vibe from Princess Polly. Pants are from Princess Polly as well. I've got chunky white Connie's on. And I got lots of compliments on the pants. This is from not my most recent haul, the one before that. But my discount code for Princess Polly is still live. It's lovebeck20. So you guys can go and pick some stuff up if you want to. But yeah, this was today's outfit just with the denim jacket. Cute. I have some work I need to do on the computer now. So I'm going to sit on my laptop for a bit. And then I'm going to reward myself after I've done my work on the computer with a bath. I'm going to exfoliate, shave, I might put on just like a gradual tan, and I'm going to read my book in the bathtub. So that's my plan for the Savo, and then I'm going to cook some dinner. So I'll keep you guys updated. You right? <laughs> this weekly vlog is going to be absolute rubbish. I had the bath. It was very relaxing. I cooked dinner and then we just ate dinner and I didn't show you guys what I cooked or what we ate. I made like lamb kebabs. We had like roasted sweet potatoes, corn on the cob. Don't mind my face, my eczema is having a flare up. I haven't actually had like eczema this bad for ages, but I reckon it's to do with pregnancy. Like my hormones and everything are different. And so it's come back, but that's fine. Codes went straight from work to the gym and was there for about an hour and then came home and he's been doing some secret race car business that I can't show you yet but that's what he's been doing and he had dinner with me and now he's back in the garage doing more secret race car business. I am watching Gogglebox. I might sit on the couch, keep watching it, read my book for a little bit and we've got to pick our shed colours tonight. We got like the email from our shed builder saying, here's your color selection. Like we've done all our like payment installments and we've gotten up to the point where they're gonna make it now. And so all they need is our color selects and then it's good to go. 
which is very exciting. So we're going to do that. And yeah, it's like 8.30 now. Let's try and have an early night. I have sports day tomorrow. I'm hoping that it's good weather and like sort of cloudy so then it's not crazy hot. Because yesterday it was hot. We had a fire drill at school and it was so hot on the oval. And I just thought, oh, I really hope that sports day is not that hot. Let's go do my couple of jobs and then go to bed. Morning guys. Oh dear. So today's sports day. I'm obviously in the greenhouse. I've got my green hat, a green jumper, green tutu. Oh, Oakley. I've also got like a khaki green shirt on and on the back it says prep team Miss Beck and it has all the house colors on it. Can you stop crying? He saw me put on my joggers like my running shoes and he thinks we're going for a W-A-L-K but obviously we're not so it's like quarter past eight I'm gonna go now I've put my sunscreen on and we're gonna go be on the oval all day yay see you guys later all right guys it's now quarter past six I really have not filmed pretty much anything all week I stayed back a bit at work today because we've got our prep open day tomorrow morning which is pretty much just for the pre-preps so kids that'll be in prep next year to come and suss out all of our prep classes and like we get to introduce ourselves even though next year i won't be there but that should be fun so we like set up for that and got ready and then i got home at around four i rested for like half an hour and then i had a lash infill we went a little bit shorter so same thickness, 3D, and then a little bit shorter, just so they're a little bit more natural. I love them. And now it's quarter past six. I have been on my phone ordering or scheduling Uber Eats for our dinner tonight. So I have dancing from 6.30 till 8.30. Codes and I have been so tired and been having late nights every single night. So I was like, I don't want to have to get either of us to cook or clean up tonight. So I have scheduled Uber. Codes is getting noodle box and I'm getting butter chicken. And that's going to arrive between 8 and 8.30. Then I'll get home and we'll be able to eat it. And then have a shower and go to bed. That's the plan. But I'll message him now and let him know that he can vlog if he wants to. I'll leave the camera here for him. But I've got tap and then jazz so i'm very excited the bump has come out to play tonight i'll show you so i wore like a green tutu all day but this is it right now it actually kind of looks small i think the pants are slightly digging in but there's definitely something there and all the people at dancing haven't really seen it i've been away the last two weeks and before that i was just wearing baggy everything but I'm just going to keep on this crop jumper. Then I don't have to get changed. The puppy's going to stay inside and watch Friends. He's got Friends on the TV for him. Hey. But yeah, I'll go to dancing now. And I'll chat to you guys after. I'm so sorry that this vlog is literally just me talking and showing my outfits. So boring. I'll try and get codes to talk. I know you want to hear from him. And then tomorrow, we're going to go to Ikea. And then we'll probably vlog Saturday as well because I feel like that's a little bit more to film. Oh, I don't even know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Thursday about 7.30. Uh, got home about 7, then been playing with the dog this afternoon, running around outside. So I went to the gym after work, trying to get back into a routine as obviously I'm able to move around a little bit now because my knees are getting better. I'm able to do some box jumps, which is good. Box jumps and I'm hopping on the spot on single legs, obviously. Um, about two more weeks and I should be able to start straight line running again. So pretty excited for that. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the garage and work on the race car, Ikea tomorrow. So we'll take you there with that. We also ordered Uber Eats. Noodle box tonight. Beck works late and it's easy. It's good. Love it. Such kind of fake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This specimen, 536M, we affectionately refer to as me. That was an example of a compact theropod. Morning guys, we have a very overcast, dreary, rainy day today. We have our prep open morning. So all the future preps are coming, or some of them, and families to like suss out our school. I am wearing a long sleeve tight midi dress from Cotton On. My white pumas, denim jacket, I think it's from Dish. And then this little headband. I'm taking my side bag and a scarf because we're going to Ikea later. But, happy Friday, woohoo, last day of the week. Hey guys, it's quarter to five. How did it get that late? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> so I stayed back at work a little bit, left work at like 3.30, went and got fuel and some snacks and then came and picked up codes from work, went in and saw everyone yep. for a minute and then we drove to Ikea. It's about half an hour roughly. Off from the Kia. From Cody's work. We worked out we probably have not been here for like two years. I reckon. So we did like a big shop before we built, I think. Or like just as we moved in. No, it must have been before. Because remember the day that we moved in, we were doing all the flat packs. Yeah. So it must have been just before. And then I think we've only done like one after that. Yeah. And we got more things that we realized that we needed. It would definitely be over two years. So going in, we've sort of got a game plan. Because we have other not. stuff to do. <laughs> we have to go load the race car. Yeah. Get that. Get yep. back home, have a decent sleep. Because yeah. we get to go to the speedway. I'm actually so excited. <laughs> You're telling me. I know. Me and my broken legs. I know. Being a professional quad rider, pushing Casey around every week. I'm probably going to have to still do that. Probably. I'm excited to see you in the car, but I'm also just excited to be back at speedway. Yeah. How long is off season? Like three months? Yeah, it feels like it gets smaller and June, smaller July. every year. August. I don't know. So yeah, let's head on in. I'll bring the camera with me. I've brought my tape measure. Mm -hmm. Ready to measure our things. We've got, we're looking at a TV cabinet. We're looking at sheer curtains. Sheer curtains for, for the both the bedrooms. bedrooms. Yep. And a chest of drawers that we can hopefully use in the nursery. Yep. And then maybe like have a look at lounges, but like I don't actually know. Yep. Don't know. Sticky bacon. Yes, let's go. Whoa. Trust IKEA to think of something like that. Three dollar light bulbs. looking for um baby stuff we're looking at tv cabinets now and a new lounge <laughs> we've filled a bag so far i haven't showed you guys anything we were just in the baby section got some clothes hangers they're like the kids ones got some toys they had like nursery stuff over there and then pretty much just took photos of all the big furniture items that we want to get. So we have to find them in the flat pack section downstairs, which is the fun part. But oh mate's got his bag. We might do a haul or maybe we'll save it for like a nursery setup video. We also decided he's buying a bookshelf. He saw one, he's like, ooh, I want that. <laughs> so we're getting a bookshelf and a new coffee table and I don't know, stuff that... Maybe a lounge. Mm -mm, we're not getting a lounge. Not right now. Surely not. Next week. Cody's excited. I'm excited for baby stuff. Cody's excited for house stuff. <laughs> Next one's. Okay. Aisle 14 for the TV cabinet. 
done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good you too. Cody's got his brekkie. Oh yeah. Race car in the backyard. <laughs> Crazy. Got breakfast. Now there's a nosy dog looking at me. Hey. Stop staring. It's rude. I should probably move that out of his Hey guys, so it's Sunday off, oh no, Saturday afternoon at 2.20. We have currently got to the speedway and we're in the lineup. Becca Boo has gone to to like where we have to pay to get in. She's got to pay there. I'm in the lineup to get into the pits and yeah, we'll have a fun night. Car's loaded. Got Pops Ute. Luckily for him to hand it over to me to be able to use. So yeah, we had a relaxing morning. We sort of I just done some work at home, which was good. Yeah, it's uh, it was good. We got the cars loaded yesterday. Uh, we're just excited to be able to be back at Archerfield. There was talk it was going to shut down this year, but we're lucky enough they've got 18 shows here. Normally we get like 30, 35 race meetings throughout the season. We're here, we're in. Feels a bit surreal to be back, especially with a car that says Cody O'Connell on it, but very excited. I'm sure I'm gonna get asked a lot of times how far along we are and when Bob is due. I didn't really do anything this morning. I did like a load of washing and went and got zarafas and packed race bags and got stuff ready for here. And then Codes did yard work. He was like building us back steps off the deck. Yeah, pretty much just got ready and came here. It's now like two o'clock. And we'll be here until like 10 something tonight. And then go and get our Macca's dinner as always. And then go home. Welcome back to race season. Wow.